Hey there, welcome to another Excel Power Tips video to help you on your journey to master Excel. So here we have different lens texts in column A and each has an email address somewhere in it. So your job would be to extract the fictitious email addresses. So how do you go about doing it? Well, you'll use this formula. So when you enter the formula in the cell and copy it down, the formula successfully extracts the email address from each of the different lens texts. So next, I'll show you the step-by-step -step building process of creating this email extraction formula that you can use yourself in your work. Also, I've included the full step-by-step -step process in the video description. So let's do this. Here's the step-by-step -step building process in creating the email extraction formula. So we've got the text in column A and the text they start from cell A3. So the first step is uh, we need to substitute every space with 25 spaces. So that means every space, uh, the space between each word in the text needs to be replaced with 25 spaces. We type equals and then type the first letters of the word substitute. Then Excel comes up with a substitute formula and press tab and it has four arguments. X or text, new text and instance number. You can ignore instance number and the first uh, argument is text so that's in cell a3 and then we need to replace the old text which is a space and we want it to be replaced with 25 spaces now we don't type in 25 spaces we, we could do that but we can make use of the repeat function r-e-p-t uh, which repeats any character uh, of a number of times which is specified so we're going to put in a space that we want to repeat and we want to repeat that 25 times and then close the bracket and then close the bracket again because the substitute formula you see the result is uh, the text in cell a3 gets filled over in the other columns and each of the spaces uh, within uh, the um, text in cell a3 has got 25 spaces you can see it better here in the substitute example where you've got the 25 spaces between each of the words. And that's how it looks like. Step two, we need to find out where the at sign is in the substituting formula. So we copy the formula in step one. And in step two, we need to find out where the at sign is in the substituting string. So we use the find formula and it has uh, three arguments. Uh, the start number, which is the one at the end, um, if you leave that alone, um, it'll start from default one, so you can ignore that one. So for the first argument, find text, we want to find the at sign which will be occurring in every email address. And you want it in the, uh, the substituted uh, string, which is uh, the formula, not A3. And you close the bracket. And what that does for step two is locates the position of the at sign in the substituted formula. So for step three, we need to extract 25 characters for the at sign for the substituted string for 50 characters in length. So we copy the substituted string formula again, and then this time we type the delete function. And the first argument is text, so that's the substituted string. And then the next argument is the start number. So we want to find uh, the at sign of the substituted string and then take off 25. So as you saw in step two, we use a find formula to search for the at sign in the substituted formula string, close brackets. Then we take 25 away from that position. And then from that position, uh, we extract 50 characters and close bracket. So now you can see it's like almost done now. It's extracted the email address. Um, but what you can't see is uh, it has spaces um, in front of the, it's got leading spaces and failing spaces in the email address. That was because of the substitution of space with 25 spaces. So for step four, all we need to do is copy the formula in step three, and then use the trim function in step four. Close the brackets. So now it's extracted uh, successfully the email address from the text with no uh, leading and turning spaces. 
And all we need to do now is form this down. There you have it, all of the email addresses have been successfully extracted from the text. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next part of this video.